second Eric Allen, number 21, whose five interceptions ranked second on the team. After an 18-yard gain from the 35-yard line, Tom Jack fakes to the right, goes to the left, throws short, intercepted at the 42-yard line by Eric Allen. And Philadelphia has it at the 45 on a pass intended for Wendell Davis. So the Cardinals have it first and 10 at their own 15. Cooper going long and incomplete. Intended for Jones, who had Eric Allen beaten, and I'm not too sure Allen didn't get a fingertip on that ball. He's showing a lot of poise. Yep. Yep, he did. He got a piece of it. The timing of the jump was perfect. Good job by Eric Allen. In his second year, Andrew White just got a sack, his fifth of the year. Of the year. Here comes the stunt. Frizzell on the blitz. Elway lets it go. Eric Allen picked it off. Frizzell was coming on the blitz. That allowed Allen to run under the pass. Third turnover the Eagles have accomplished in the first half of play. <laughs> McMahon throws incomplete, intercepted. Eric Allen to the 23-yard line. Well, it looked like it was tipped by Jamie Holland, number 86. And as a result, Eric Allen gets the interception and an 18-yard return on the play. That's being alert back there in the secondary. Now watch McMahon delivers this ball inside. You're going to see the receiver... Uh, Holland make an inside route there. Jamie Holland gets it inside, but he tips it up. If you're going to tip it, you better slap it to the ground because that secondary is waiting back there to pick it off. First and 10, Minnesota, back split. Wilson, deep left side. Intercepted. Eric Allen gets his sixth interception of the year. necessarily thrown 50 yards they're timing routes and the quarterback gets rid of the ball at a time once again Hassan Jones is open has three steps the ball is under thrown and Eric Allen that allows Eric Allen a chance to play on the ball and make the interception 91 seconds to go Wilson oh boy for the season and misses the seven. A great job of reading by Eric Allen. The key to this is that the receiver drive Aaron off deep. No, Hassan Jones never threatened deep. He never turned the shoulders of Eric Allen. Er Eric Allen was able to freeze. Shepard was the intended receiver. Eric Allen knocked it away. Watch Eric Allen here. He's a guy who is who is becoming one of the top corners in this league. It's only a second year guy, but a real good cover guy. In fact, of all the plays, that's the first play that I can remember today being thrown at him. And that is coverage like blanket coverage. Aikman. and the intended receiver Allen was with him as a flag down in the end zone. I don't know that I would mess too much with Eric Allen because his coverage has been excellent. Maybe we're going to throw that. I'd find someone else to throw it on. Well, he got the interception. Well, you know what they're saying, and I kind of agree. What's the difference between that and a guy who scores a touchdown? and spikes the ball because the clock has stopped anyway interception was called taunting that is an unsportsmanlike foul we'll go called half the taunting. From the 20 back to the 10 yard line oh it wasn't it was called see they put a new rule in about five or six years ago that you can't taunt or bait now if you know what either one of those two words mean you shouldn't even be playing defense <laughs> Play action, the pass picked off by Allen. Touchdown. Third inter 
interception of the day. Eric Allen had this all the way. Here. His second interception of the year for him, Tim, though, is in good position to cover this ball. First of all, he has a receiver on a good coverage, Michael Irvin. He's facing the quarterback, comes up and takes that ball away. The ball wasn't really thrown that hard or that sharply, so it gave him plenty of time to come back and take it away. Back to the two. Good football. Heads up football. Chandler then is intercepted by Eric Allen, number 21. And he goes over to Coach Winston for some advice. Second and eight. Good protection. Intercepted off the hands of Willie Gold and right into the midst of Eric Allen. From behind the offense, certainly can't put this on Todd Marinovich. It's a simple out pattern run by Gold. It's not that cold. That ball is certainly catchable. Should have been by Willie Gold. Certainly a bad start. Marinovich does not throw a particularly hard pass. Inexcusable to drop that one. So the Eagles take over. But they did score a touchdown on that coverage. Thank to Dickerson. Schrader starts the second half and throws one up for grabs. Oh, man. Eric Allen makes his second interception today. And then hit from behind by Alexander right at the 45 of the Raiders. Ethan Horton, the intended receiver, but that ball just floated up there. Horton had no chance. Not even close, Dick. From behind the defense, play action fake fools no one. See Horton right side of the screen. That ball gets away. And boy, Allen is waiting on the thing. He and Rich Miano, 38, were fighting over that interception. <laughs> well, again, the turnover, fourth of the day against the Raiders, and they have great field position once again. turf and he was just dizzy momentarily Best 
defensive backs are one of the best corners in the league. I'll never forget that run he made against the Jets earlier this year. One of the great plays. I mean, the whole interception, the whole interception and a return. One of the greatest plays I've ever seen. Third and six. Sims back to throw it. to 21. He's right on the end of the line. He's going to come in a blitz. He's, he's not even thinking like he's covering. He just goes around there again. And no one blocks him. The Giants having trouble all year with the blitz. Kelly had an audible eyes. Kelly took the long look. Can't find anyone. And now throws. Intercepted. It is, it is picked off by Eric Allen. He threw his fourth interception of the season. This is something that I saw Bledsoe do last week for New England and throw into a crowd. And this is something you don't expect a veteran to do. Kelly is really running for his life. Watch this. Here he's running. He gets away. He gets away again. And then he throws. He sees Brooks is wide open. The ball is behind Brooks and it goes off his hand. Allen makes the interception. One takes a break. Look for momentum. Steve Walsh is your place bucket quarterback. But Eric Allen picks it off. Let get him go. He tossed the Saints. No one's going to catch him. His third touchdown on a pick this year, Tom. Eric Allen giving a clinic on how to play cornerback, makes a nice break on the ball, and even that cold weather, a great one-handed grab. You think it was luck? I don't think so. We go the other way. Well, we're seeing a lot of tight end tonight. There it is right now for Houston. From the 13-yard line. Carlson flings one. It's intercepted at the 31 by Eric Allen, who ran four back for touchdowns last season. Eric inside the 20, tackled at the 14. Uh, he wanted to take that into the end zone so bad. Nine interceptions a year ago, six interceptions, four of them, as Al said, returned for a touchdown that tied an NFL record. Struggled a little bit, however, defensively at the corner as far this year for the Eagles. Well, he reads this all the way. He's locked up in man coverage, and Cody Carlson is looking that side of the field the entire time. Eric Allen makes his break way before the receiver even does. Haywood Jeffries, by the time he makes his break, is looking at the back of Eric Allen. He was talking about playing the 49ers next week, and he says, we'll play them tough. He said, we always play the 49ers tough out there. George has is picked off by Eric Allen. Something had to happen, and it does. Allen, first down Philadelphia inside the Atlanta 30. Oh, well, they're thinking now, Jeff George is thinking of all the things he didn't want to do, didn't need to do. That's probably the only way that the Eagles could get back in this game. I mean, if he just throws this ball away, if he just throws an incomplete pass, if they just run it to Ironhead Hayward, anything except an interception is, is a thing that they can do. And Jeff George had to end up making that tackle himself. And he just threw his helmet. He is really mad. I mean, he knew that they had this game won. There's no way. The Eagles don't have any timeouts.